So according to Prince Yoon, he's the chief economist over at the National Association of Realtors. Last year, we had approximately 5 million sales. This year, we're going to have approximately 6.2 million sales. In addition to that, we're roughly 4 million homes short of actually the amount of supply that we need. So that's absolutely nuts. So you can understand on a national basis, we're short the amount of homes that we need. We have the lowest mortgage rates still. They're still hovering around 3% or so, and they should remain to stay low, providing the economy pretty much stays as where we are. And Matt can talk a little bit more about that in a second. But with all that said, there's a lot of craziness going on. There's a lot of pandemonium out there. There are more buyers out there than ever because of such a shortage. Let's talk quickly about here in Rhode Island. Here in Rhode Island, 640, 650 active homes on the market, nearly 2,000 pending. And this is just single family, guys. Roughly 15% higher in price this year than last year, single family homes in most markets, compared to about a 3% normal appreciation that we should be seeing in a housing market. It's intense out there right now. And it's important to know if you're a buyer, when you're waiving inspections, when you're waiving appraisal, when you're waiving these things, unfortunately, this is kind of the time where you almost have to do that with the low inventory, the low mortgage rates, the affordability, the amount of people out there that wall buyers need to be more competitive of certain contingencies in many situations like appraisal contingency and inspection contingency, I feel that a lot of buyers are going in at their max right now, okay? They're going in at their max. So if they're pre-approved to 450, they're going in at 450, right? So what's going to happen in my opinion, and the sky isn't falling, but what's going to happen in my opinion is two, three years from now, some problems that could have come up and been avoided in inspections, like a, a basement that pours water in or a septic that is on its last leg, stuff that you could normally ask the sellers to fix is now going to come in and be an issue for these potential homeowners and borrowers, Matt. And my theory is, is that this is just going to be a compounding effect, basically like this. They're going to call John LaPointe at LaPointe Insurance and say, hey, bro, I need to file a claim. This thing happened or this thing happened. So now insurance is going to go up. In addition, what else happens with escrow? Taxes lag the market and will go up even if, if prices slightly decline. So my thing is this, is that people are over leveraged. They're not going to be able to afford the maintenance. Okay, Supplies are through the roof. We've got inflation, which is absolutely nuts. Look price of wood, lawnmowers, everything else, just going Home Depot, it's not food, and insurance premiums and taxes are going up. So what happens to that quote-unquote fixed mortgage? The quote-unquote fixed mortgage goes up. 